Hey, it's Allie from Little Hill Homestead. Today I'm going to bring you a recipe. This is still hot, so it will thicken as it cools in the refrigerator, but I'm bringing you a recipe for homemade sweetened condensed milk. Super easy. It's got butter, milk, vanilla, sugar, and a little bit of salt. So you probably have everything to make your own sweetened condensed milk. It takes 30 minutes. So if you want to see how to do that, um, we use it in our homemade yogurt. You can use it in fudge, anywhere you need sweetened condensed milk, basically. And it lasts two weeks in the fridge. Keep watching. All right. First thing we need for our sweetened condensed milk is I have like a small pan. Um, I just turned the temperature on high. I have two cups of uh, regular old milk. To that, we are going to add three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar. I like to use a whisk, but use a spoon if you want. So just mix those together, just kind of until the sugar is incorporated just a small bit into the um, milk. Okay. All that you're looking to do here is bring this to a boil. As soon as it gets close to boiling, turn it to a lower heat so it doesn't overflow. And you're going to let it cook for 30 minutes. It seems like a long time to kind of watch. You want to stir a little bit so that you don't get burned at the bottom of the pan. Um, but just every couple minutes swing by and, you know, give it a whirl. But it's going to go for 30 minutes and it's going to reduce to about half of what you have in here right now. So 30 minutes. We'll see ya. All right. Our milk is just coming to a boil. You can see it starting to puff to the top. I'm going to turn it down to, woo, don't boil over. I'm notorious for doing this. I'm going to take it off the heat just so it doesn't uh, boil over while my burner turns down a little bit. <clears throat> Alexa, set a timer for 30 minutes. All right. I'm going to set a timer for 30 minutes and I'm just going to keep an eye on this. <laughs> she thinks she knows everything now. What the heck? She's going crazy, you guys. All right. <clears throat> I got my burner on pretty low. <clears throat> but because it's electric, it takes forever to cool down. So. All right. This should be good now. That's right at the top of my pan, though, so I'm going to keep an eye on that pretty close. But 30 minutes, you're just going to let it do its thing, and it should reduce by about half. So that's what we're looking for. And then while that's doing its thing, I'm going to get the other ingredients pulled together. Man, that is close to the top. Making me nervous. Anyways, just keep an eye on it. 30 minutes. Have you ever heard the old wives' tale that if you put a wooden spoon on the top of your pan, it can't boil over? We're going to try it. I think it's not correct. I'm like holding my breath over here. I do it with pasta and other things, but, well, maybe. All right, well, I'll keep you updated on what happens here, but the wooden spoon seems to be working so far. So if you have a problem like me, just throw a wooden spoon over the top. Works, works great. Anyways. 30-minute timer is already set. As you guys know, she has a little conniption fit every time I talk to her. And we'll be back. Low is too low. The wooden spoon worked, though. So I'm turning it back up to four on my stove, which is like a medium low. It's just going to start to boil again. So don't go too low. But keep an eye on it until it's consistently bubbling, basically, is what I'm trying to tell you in 17 minutes of ranting. All right. Timer's still going. All right, our milk is done. It's been 30 minutes. It kind of stayed at, I don't know, whatever height that is. Kind of just chilling. Um, it wasn't chilling, it was cooking. <laughs> so we have our condensed milk, which is basically what we just made. We're going to add a half of a teaspoon of salt into there, only because I use unsalted butter. If you use salted butter, you don't need that. I'm going to add one teaspoon of vanilla. This is our homemade, but you can use whatever you got. And then I have four tablespoons of butter. I've kind of cut it apart so that it just uh, uh, melts a little bit easier. You're just gonna stir that together until the butter melts in there. I guess I could show you actually what the pan looks like, but it's just, um, it's still really thick, but once you put it in the refrigerator and everything comes back down to cooling, to a cooling temperature, cold temperature, oh gosh, um, it'll thicken up more like a traditional condensed milk that you're used to. Our butter is just about there. I have a, I can never remember the size of mason jars, but this is like a two cup mason jar. 
It's not the little tiny one, and it's not the quart. Is it? Is it a pint? It's a pint. Maybe. I don't know. I'm terrible at that. I have to look it up, even though I've been canning for years. I just something my brain can't commit. Anyways. Okay. Our butter is melted. I'm just going to pour this into our canning jar. See, the color is what you're more uh, used to having. This makes it about a cup and a half once it's done. It's a little more than a traditional can of condensed milk, but I just put the lid on it and then I'm going to pop it in my refrigerator. It lasts a couple weeks in the refrigerator. We use this for our homemade yogurt um, and mostly just because we have the ingredients here to make sweetened condensed milk. If you buy the can of it at the grocery store, the price can be three plus dollars a jar now. I mean, the cost of milk here is pretty reasonable. So anyways, I'm rambling now. Thanks for watching Little Hill Homestead. Appreciate it.